prison. 12 News HD is bringing you team coverage of tonight's execution. Reporter Lamar Holiday is standing by live in Jasper with reaction there. But we begin with 12 News HD anchor Jackie Simeon live in Huntsville tonight. Jackie. Lawrence Russell Brewer was pronounced dead by the state of Texas at 621 tonight. Among those witnessing the execution were Luvon Harris and Clara Taylor, who are sisters of James Byrd Jr., as well as Tiffany Taylor, James Byrd Jr.'s niece. On Brewer's side is mother Helen, his father Lawrence Sr., his brother John, and two friends were present. We're told by prison officials that Brewer spent the day writing, packing personal belongings, and visiting with his loved ones ones. Brewer initially at requested a long list of foods for his final meal, including two chicken fried steaks, a triple meat bacon cheeseburger, three fajitas, a pizza meat lover special, a pint of bluebell homemade vanilla ice cream, and three root beers. But we're told by prison officials in the end that he refused the meal, telling officials that he was not hungry. Civil rights icon Dick Gregory has been outside the prison since midnight along with a group of protesters who are against, who were against tonight's execution. And Dick Gregory also tells me that the children of James Byrd Jr. were also not in support of the execution. They were against tonight's execution. We have no indication that Byrd's children were here tonight. Now, of course, the 1998 dragging death attracted worldwide attention but there hasn't been the media presence here that one may have expected. We do see news trucks, of course, from the Beaumont area and the Houston area, but not the attention that we thought it would get. And that could be due to the national attention being given to another execution that also took place tonight. This one in the state of Georgia. Troy Davis was put to death for the 1989 murder of a police officer there. It has been grabbing, that execution has been grabbing headlines because several witnesses in that case have come forward to take back their stories. We are still waiting for a press conference tonight here outside the prison facility, at which time we'll have an opportunity to speak with witnesses. Reporting live in Huntsville, Jackie Simeon, 12 News HD. Jackie, thank you very much, and we hope to check back in with you for official confirmation uh, and witness reaction coming up in, uh, before the end of this news.